From the creators of Skyrim and Fallout comes Starfield, and the trailers we got looked amazing and Todd Howard was promising a lot. But did he promise too much? Before you switch off, listen up. I'm not hating on the game, and I even looked forward to it. However, I finally gave Starfield a go and must say I'm a little underwhelmed, maybe even bored. You might feel different and certainly not all is bad, but I personally expected more. The game and its introduction did not catch me in the first hour or two of gameplay, which was very disappointing, but what happened? We begin our mining operation as a newbie, so says our boss. We begin exploring the cavern and laser around, what you usually do at a mining operation. Sadly, the environment just looks uninteresting. I have no other incentive to do something other than follow the main objective, which I get in the tutorial phase, but the tutorial phase stretches like chewing gum. Not even the NPCs react much to me. I stand in front of someone blocking his work and there's absolutely no reaction. I run into other NPCs and there's no reaction. Some reaction to you messing around would be just nice, like in other games. It would even make me want to talk to them. However, the NPCs usually look to me with a neutral face expression like a robot, making them absolutely uninteresting for interaction. I would love if the game could give me something to work with, something which gets my attention. Currently, it feels more like a generic MMO where the NPCs don't see you until you directly talk to them or want to trade with them. The AI is sadly also very dumb. You can take minor cover or partially just stand in front of them and shoot at them until they are down. They do not take cover efficiently. They do not run away from you much. It feels as if they don't care. They are just easy targets and not much of a challenge. Sure, this is just the beginning of the game, but this reminds me a little of the critique which Redfall got for their combat AI, and I wonder if the same mechanics or system was used here. The enemies will probably get more difficult when you go into higher level areas, though probably just in hit and damage points, not much in skill. From the technical point of view, I was playing on ultra quality level with the modern GPU with FSR2 enabled, which were the preset settings. I did not experience any stuttering, though I had a bunch of crashes when launching the game in the beginning. The crashes go on me, however, as I didn't update my GPU drivers before playing the game, so make sure to do that in advance. There are some glitches, though, I guess. However, the graphic and asset details and also the sound design was only okay for me personally. I didn't find it very special or especially detailed. It looked very generic. There were walls, crates, some plants, but not even very detailed foliage or grass I can run through, and some incredibly confusing UI. Questing and the tutorial is typical Bethesda. Some might like it because they are used to it from many other games and especially from other Bethesda games, but I hoped it would develop further. I was not able to skip the tutorial or it didn't give me a hint on how to do it. So I had to go through all the annoying basic movement instructions. The quests were mainly talk to person A, choose an option, go to person B, choose an option, shoot something, collect something, go back. And again, this is a very MMO-like style. At some point, I wondered if Starfield was initially planned as an MMO or multiplayer game and then stripped down, or if it was even based on Fallout 76. People hoping to find a full-blown space simulation will also sadly be disappointed. While you can fly in space and fight other ships, landing, starting, jumping between systems is more a combination of hitting a key, clicking something and having a quick loading screen. Remember, an SSD is required for this game to keep the loading times minimal. However, still I feel that the immense amount of loading screens is one of the biggest immersion killers in this game. You run far too often into them. The space from the design point of view was very nice though and very well optimized for mouse and keyboard. Flying and fighting was easy and intuitive. I actually did not need the tutorial to tell me what to do, I just had it and this is good. Not many games make the starship controls intuitive. What bugged me a little is you cannot do much with your ship when landed, cannot fly closer to your objective or blow up the bloody pirates bugging you with the turret of your ship. Also how do you get your ship? Well, a random dude just knowing you for five minutes will hand it over to you together with his robot because he thinks you're a fine person. Which was an interesting take on the story, in my opinion. The game has a good technical level. The design is okay and I didn't find any critical bugs yet. I feel so sorry and sad for saying Starfield is only an average to at most good game, but not a very outstanding one. 
I expected so much more. Todd Howard created a lot of hype, gave many promises to Starfield, and in the end, it doesn't even feel much open world. But as I'd like to say, everyone has their own opinion. You might like the game, and that is totally okay. If you want to try the game, it is available on Game Pass at the official release on the 6th of September. So you can try it. You might like it. If not, you can still uninstall. Of course, it will be available to buy on Steam too. So write into the comments below on your feelings about Starfield and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. That's all for today. Take care and thank you so much for watching.